to share with you. I talked about the First Aid Beauty new Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer. I'm in the shade Ivory and it has a natural luminous finish, it says. And I just put it on my skin. Honestly, it doesn't give much coverage. I would say definitely light coverage, um, but it does feel very natural on the skin, very luminous. Do you see that? Um, this is something that I would wear underneath a fuller coverage like concealer or um, foundation because I use the Mary Kay CC cream. This is more matte, like a satin matte, and it does have a little more coverage. So I always use this first in my routine, and then I'll use like a stick foundation like this one with a little bit of concealer to give me more coverage in the areas that I need it, like this little dark spot right here. Um, so this is what I'm going to do with this foundation because um, it's not really a foundation. It's a tinted moisturizer. So it gives you like the SPF, a little bit of tint. If you're if you're someone that likes Supernatural, then this will be perfect for you. But I'm going to combine it with a fuller cover foundation and show you it after I'm all done. So I'm, I'm putting Gavin's Easter basket together. Um, and he actually likes the color pink, so I need to tie this. But this actually used to be one of my Easter baskets <laughs> that I'm repurposing for him. I really don't think he'll care. Um, but I have this big, nice basket full of treats. So I've got little, as you can see, I've got the little grass in here, but I've got all these little mini Twix and Kit Kats in here. I've got this Harbo Gold Bear little egg. He loves gummy bears. And then some more gummies. These are like the Sweet Tart gummies. And Sour Patch Kids are from Mama Bee. And Mama Bee also got these trail mixes for the entire family. But I'm get, putting some in his Easter basket. And then I got him a little, a little Pez, a chocolate bunny, his favorite chips, Takis. This is the thing, guys, um, which you probably don't know this because I don't talk about this. We don't allow Gavin to have a ton of candy and chips and really unhealthy things in his lunchbox. I do give him, like, you know, trail mix and raisins and, like, apples and granola bars. And sometimes, every once in a while, I'll throw in, like, a little pre-portioned bag of chips and um, these are his favorite but like just any kind of chips like even pringles or something um like i'll give him little treats here and there but this is definitely a mega thing um that you know he'll have to eat over time because <laughs> i think i went a little overboard but i couldn't help it i wanted to have a really nice basket for him i also have these little lego things that little packs to put together so this one is harry potter i got this at target and then I also have a Star Wars one, which I thought would be really cool because he loves putting things together. So I'm gonna put these someplace in this Easter basket as well. So I just went grocery shopping. I washed my car. It desperately needed. Then I like, I did the self wash. Okay, self drive through wash. And then I vacuumed it myself at the free vacuums and like Windex all the windows a little bit more and my car is so shiny clean. You obviously can't tell from the inside, but she's so beautiful. And now I'm going to Mama Bee's at my dad's house because we're watching Game of Thrones um, season premiere of season eight, the final season. We are so pumped. My dad doesn't watch, but my mom does and my brother does. So we're really excited. But before I head over there, I picked up a canister from another Ray Dunn friend who sells pieces that, you know, either she gets duplicates of or she doesn't want. And another person that does Ray Dunn told me um, that it's smart to start to try to pick up seasonal pieces before it's that season. So like Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas pieces I don't have anything really um, that's like holiday except for that gingerbread canister that an awesome subscriber sent me and I was so, so thankful for that. Um, but honestly, I don't really have a ton of seasonal things except for a ton of Easter now because I've been, I started hunting, like done hunting around when Easter stuff was coming out. And now I guess fall stuff is already going to start coming out in the summer. Um, a lot of the girls were telling me. Anyways, I picked up a Ho 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 canister. Isn't it beautiful? It's my first Christmas canister. I absolutely love it. And then on the other side, she has a, this is one of those decals you can get offline. Um, it just says love bug. So I can use it for Valentine's Day too. But this is the actual um, front. As you can see, it's more like engraved. 
and then this is just a decal. But it's a pretty large canister, and I, I purchased it for $20. It's originally $12.99, so um, she is selling it for a bit more, but really not overpriced. I saw online people are selling Christmas canisters for $50, $50 to like $200, um, and I just don't understand that. <laughs> I'm not going to purchase it for that, but... $20, uh, that's pretty reasonable, especially because I can use it for two different seasons now that like I saw she has a decal on the back of it. So, thank you so much, Dunn Buddy. <laughs> Good morning, it's Monday morning. And I wanted to show you my makeup really quick. Nothing crazy. Um, but last night's Game of Thrones was so good. Who watched it? Oh my gosh. That ending, I'm like, no, it just started getting good. I want to know more. I want to know more. It was really good. And actually, Mama B and I watched season seven, um, the season finale. And then we watched the new episode. So we kind of like super refreshed. And yeah, I don't want to give too much away. I'm just going to say it was good. Hey guys, so I just got done getting my nails done and oh my gosh, I went to Ben and he did an amazing job. Actually, let me, I'm gonna show these up close to you guys. The color is called Violet Femmes and I'm gonna show you up close what a great job this guy did. So first of all, this is the style I like, more round, like more rounded, skinny rounded. I don't like them super pointed. So he did a perfect job on that. Also, do you see how nice and thin the acrylic is? The sun is kind of getting really bright on the nails, but you can, hopefully you can see what I mean. It's so nice and thin. I wish I would have shown you guys how thick my nails were previous to this, but they don't look as natural when they don't make them nice and thin. Um, so Ben at Star Nails knows what he's doing. Um, Chi is my favorite nail girl, and that's who I was going to for years, but she's currently on maternity leave. So I finally found someone else at my favorite nail salon that knows how to do a really good job. So yay, I've got my nails back to a natural, thin, round acrylic nail, and I love it. Hey guys, I have my hair pulled back today, so excuse the hair. It's one of those days where it was either gonna be makeup or hair, and I chose makeup like I always do. <laughs> so I did my glowy eye look that I love to do in the summertime. My lip is a combination of Beach, I think it's called Beach Bum from Tarte, one of their um, Rainforest of the Seas lipsticks. And then I have a little bit of a MAC gloss on top. I'll have to pull those out when I get in the car to show you guys. This dress I got from Dillard's. Um, you might have seen it on my Instagram and in my vlog when I went to Seattle. And then I have the Chanel necklace on. And I'm still loving my nails, by the way. <laughs> These earrings are from Jewel Mint. I showed you guys them last week. I wore them for our spring fling and I kind of forgot about them. And I love them for spring and summer. They are so fun. They actually have like the petals are leather. And then um, they have a little gem flower in the center. I don't think Jewel Mint is around anymore. It was an online like subscription jewelry service that I loved. They had amazing jewelry. I don't think it's around anymore, but I still love it. All right, off to work. This is the lip combo I wore yesterday. This is Beach Babe and then this gloss for MAC in Flare for Finery. So that's what I wore yesterday. Let me show you what my makeup looks like today. I washed my hair last night and I have not styled it whatsoever, so please excuse the hair. Um, but I just wanted to show you my makeup of the day. I've been really loving using Amber Rush again from the L'Oreal um, Infallible Eyeshadows. As you can see, I've hit major pan on this, but it has lasted me years and years. It's a rose gold, really pretty shadow. So that's mostly what's on my eyes today. And then I combined these two YSL lipsticks. One has a weird cap on it because I got it in gratis from Sephora. Um, so that's why it doesn't have like the pretty cap on it like this. This one was what I put down first and it's number 30, the Rouge Volupt YSL lipstick. And it was a little too coral. So then I put a little bit of this number one, or no, excuse me, Rouge Volupt number two. 
Um, I don't know the shade names, but they are super creamy. They feel so hydrating and amazing on the lips. They aren't the long, the most long lasting, however, because of that. Oh, but they feel so good. And they're, they're kind of really expensive, but they're beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. Um, and I did like a coral blush today, a little bit of a highlight. And that's pretty much it. Let's get my hair fixed. I can't remember if I showed you guys that I found the Hop To It big canister. I love it so much. So I switched up this little setup over here just slightly. I'm going to be sad when Easter's over this weekend because I love Easter decor. And then the flowers over here are blooming so beautiful. Look at these roses. Oh, I love when they bloom like this. They're so pretty. I love them. And then these pretty flowers too. This sunflower does not want to like completely open up though. But every, all the other flowers look really pretty. So this morning, this morning was very successful. I found one of the soup bowls. I've been wanting these. Um, I definitely, there was a ton of one of just this one saying yummy so I only got one of them but I definitely want a couple so that Chris and Gavin and I each have one and then this one is what I'm most excited about I found this set with the sugar canister with the wood top I love these I want all of them this sip mug not really like something that I'll probably keep I can trade this but this is what I really wanted do you see that pan this is a mini victory for me because I've been using this blush for pretty consistently for over a year now. The Laura Geller blush in Bora Bora and it was a baked blush. So that means it was kind of like domed. Um, so yeah, I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> so if you ever see me wearing a peachy blush, it's most likely this. So it is Good Friday today. Um, Chris and I are gonna be going on a day date because he has a half a day and I always have, like, um, I get out early at two o'clock on Fridays. So we are going to have a little date today. Um, Gavin is home from school, but he's kind of in the doghouse. He's been doing some naughty things at school, um, causing him to get in trouble. So he's so good at home, but he just, can't get it together at school <laughs> so if you're like why don't you guys ever take Gavin out or anything like that it's because he's punished and he has chores to do today and that's us cracking the whip on his behavior so if you're curious as to why um, I'm wearing some little Kate Spade glitter earrings today and then my eye makeup is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I haven't worn it in so long but I decided to pull it out today and I really love it. On my lips I'm wearing a Clinique lipstick and it's one of their pop lip pop lipsticks. I think it's nude pop if I'm not mistaken. Hold on I'll, I'll pull it out. Yes it's number one nude pop is what I have on my lips. And now I'm off to work first, but I'll for sure try and vlog a little bit on Chris and I's date, day date. So Chris picked this place for lunch. We're going to Cafe Paris. And from their menu, I looked online and it looks like they have some really yummy like crepes and sandwiches and soups and salads. So I'll show you guys when we get <laughs> So cute in here. We got the whole place to ourselves because it's kind of, they're only open till three and it's two o'clock right now. We're going here today. I'm gonna shoot a gun for the first time. Going to the shooting range. Kind of excited because I've never done it before. Babe, you have though, right? Obviously. You... <laughs> Not bad for the first time, folks. So I'm driving back home to meet Chris because we actually um, went to lunch in the shooting range after work because Chris got off early. I think I told you guys that already. Um, and it was so much fun. I had told Chris that I really wanted to go. Oh, I thought this was him pulling up to me. That I had really wanted to go to a shooting range. Um, 
because I had never shot a gun and I think that it's really important to learn the proper way to shoot a gun. God forbid I ever have to shoot one like for protection or anything like that. But I think it's a really good idea for everyone just to at least have shot a gun or to know how to shoot one in case you're ever in that predicament. And I know just for safety reasons and it actually was so much fun. And I think it's just really important to know like how to safely do so and a shooting range is a great place to learn like they have classes and everything and they had us um they had me watch like an instructional video first and then chris is um pretty much a pro he was in the armed forces so he definitely knows how to shoot and i was in good hands uh, spicy tuna spicy tuna yeah okay. thank you we got a rainbow roll and a Viva Las Vegas. It's happy hour, so it's popping. You changed, babe. Hey guys, I'm with Mama B. Hi guys. And we're about to go grocery shopping for Easter because yes, we're the crazies that again are going the day before a <laughs> holiday to Costco. It's so much fun when we do it that way. Um, Mama B really is the one that's crazy and then I just go along with her. That's I'm fine. surprised you didn't have anything to say. That's fine. So she actually went with me to my florist appointment for my wedding flowers. So I just picked out all of that. And then in two weeks, Chris and I will be going to the cake test, taste testing and like picking out the cake. I'm really excited about that. But the flowers, um, it's exciting, really exciting to kind of like get a few things more finalized so I'm gonna have to do I know I keep saying keep promising that I'm gonna do it and then I haven't but I am gonna do like a wedding talk video and like go over some things with you guys because I really haven't been vlogging that much about it because I don't know I don't think everyone wants to hear about wedding stuff um, so that's why I'll make like a dedicated video about it but yeah we're gonna go Easter grocery shopping and then we're gonna dye some Easter eggs because um, that's our tradition so we're gonna do that um, yeah, just wanted to say a quick check-in. So I'm going to do a quick call and then Mama B got stuff too. Obviously we did our own separate Costco <laughs> bundles. So she has stuff, um, for Easter at her house, but this is what I got. I got some Honeycrisp apples. I got bananas over there. The tortilla strips, these will last us an entire month. These, this three pound, pound bag, sometimes longer. Capri Suns because they were really on sale like three dollars off of what they usually are at costco plus it was such a good savings because i usually get like one of these for three dollars and it was um four packs for six so really good deal i put these in gavin's lunch dishwasher packs i've heard that these are the best um and they had a good deal on them as well Dave's Killer Bread, two packs of that. They had this on sale too for only $10 and usually, and this is a huge pack. Um, these are the Downy Unstoppables. Um, they're usually at least double at the grocery store. So I got some of those for our laundry. Some salads, um, some Zyrtec because my allergies have been so, so bad. Like my eyes keep tearing and nose keeps running, so I need this. I also got some Flonays for Chris and I. Gogurt because it was on sale as well for Gavin's lunches or snacks. Some lunch meat for the boys' lunches. My favorite mangoes, if you've been following me for a while, you know I love these Fresca mangoes. They are the best. I'm actually going to have one for a snack right now. Z-Bars, also for Gavin's lunches and Chris. Um, some cocoa dusted almonds. These are really good if you are craving something sweet and you're on a low calorie diet or you know really can't be having something super sugary. These are just cocoa dusted. They don't have any added sugar and they're almonds. So they have um, good protein, good fiber. I had these at work and they were really good. So that's why I got some for snacks and then a ton of salsa because we go through salsa like nobody's business and two of these huge ones was four dollars and i paid six dollars for one of these at the grocery store the other day so that was a really good deal i think that's all i got i can't believe i spent so much money and that's all i got <laughs> But this will, a lot of this will last us a I have been saving this chocolate for Easter, white chocolate carrot cake with graham flavored crisps from Dove. Found it at Target. And I'm going to do a little taste, try it 
for you guys. Um, I put them in this cute little bunny container. Look how cute the little packaging is. Oh, so adorable. So I'm gonna have that out for the boys to have too, but let's try this. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. Hmm, it does kind of taste like carrot cake. Chris loves carrot cake, so I think he might really like this. Honestly, this tastes a lot like a protein bar that I used to have. Um, I think it was from Slim Fast. And it was like a white chocolate graham kind of one. And that's what it tastes like to me. So I'm not too thrilled about it because it just reminds me of not something like enjoyable, <laughs> like carrot cake. Um, but I can see, I can see it kind of tasting like I'm not even gonna eat the whole thing. We'll see what the guy's opinions of it are later. So I just decluttered a bunch of my winter clothes, sweaters, Nice big pile here. I did post a few of them on Poshmark. If you don't know what that is, it's like a resell app or website. So I'll make sure to link it down below for you guys if you're curious. But all of this is going to Goodwill. I'm going to donate all these. And these are just sweaters pretty much and a few long sleeve shirts. But I still have a lot in my closet. <laughs> so when we actually move in a few months, I'll probably do another act really deep clean. But just had the itch to do a little declutter. Look at the pretty bread my dad and I made today. It's for Easter. My grandma used to make crescent rolls like this every year. So we're trying to keep the tradition going and make them too. They smell so good. Sure. 